Hello everyone, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 5th Edition Edition. Last time, we came back to the Druid's Grove, found Karga being rather rude to a tiefling girl, but we managed to call her off and let the tiefling girl leave back to see her parents. And then we came down and saw Nettie, who promised us the cure of removing the tadpoles from our head, and then threatened us with poison. We managed to talk our way out of that situation though, and came to the resolution that we need to head back to the goblin camp in the west and try and rescue Halcyn from that camp, because not only might he have the best chance of removing the worms in our head, but he may well also be able to defuse this situation in the Druid's Grove where they want to shut it off to all outsiders. So we might be able to save a captured prisoner save a threatened refugee populace and make some uh, save ourselves rather from being turned into mind flayers all in one only slightly deadly trip uh we just checked aaron's store and did not find anything we needed but i am just going to run downstairs and see if there's any weapons at the blacksmith that we might do better with Jump cut. Here is Damon. Uh, Shadowheart, you've got the bag of jewels. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Yes. Let's see what you've got. Anything that improves upon what we have. Plus one great club is adorable, but we're really not in the martial camp of equipment, unfortunately. Plus one light crossbow. Still two-handed though. Light hammer plus one. Light and dippable but not finesse. Pike's too big. A second plus one short sword. Could Astarian dual wield short swords? Light finesse dippable. Light finesse dippable. So this would be 1d6 plus 1 piercing on top of 1d6 plus 1 piercing. That might work. Uh, this is disadvantage on stealth. We don't want spears, quarter staffs. Fairly basic stuff, really. What are we wearing? Oh, this is um, Shadowheart's gloves, because she's technically the one doing the talking. Well, we've got nothing else to spend our cash on, right? So let's trade for this in cash. Is it going to be cheaper if Shadowheart does this bit? Yes. Considerably so. Um, let's just sell you this and top up with gold. We don't need... We'll, we'll take an Arrow of Darkness, in fact. In case we need to make something darker down with the Goblin Camp. So we'll barter that off. That's all of our jewellery and precious stones gone. But let's just see that we haven't made some kind of fatal mistake. Uh, Astarian, please take from Shadowheart this extra arrow and this plus one short sword. Then unequip this plus one dagger and equip a second I said a second excellent dual wielding plus one short swords awesome they already have a plus one dagger so we don't need that for anything specific Gale has the staff of crones 
And we have our club, which is okay because we can cast Shillelagh on it. All right. And with that, I'm going to spare you the walk, but we're going to go head up to... That is adorable. This bottom of this table is an old shield. That's cute. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Shadowheart has a second level spell slot. There's one other thing we can do here before we go. Somewhere around here, there is a house. This house. And inside of it, there is a paralyzed person. Now, going in through the front is breaking in. So, before we take a long rest and go off on this big grand quest to the goblin camp, let's just see if Shadow can't, can't earn some good favor by curing a paralyzed person. So we're not going to break in through the door because that would make us enemies. So let's see if we can't get in through the roof. Is there no route for us to jump up here? Did I crash it? God damn it. Oh, we're only six minutes in. Fine. Hold on. So, we traded this bag of gems for this plus one short sword and this arrow of darkness. Barter. Leave. Swap those over to... Are you going to crash twice? They pushed out patch hotfix 10 today. I wonder if this is the problem. Hold on. Hello, me again. So after two crashes, the crash resolve support for the system asked me if I wanted to verify my files to prevent further crashes. I did that. It didn't break my game save or anything. And so let's try this for a third time. Looking for steel? Yes. I have, well, something close. Let me see what you've got, because I know you have a plus one short sword, an arrow of darkness, and I have a bag of gems and some extra coin. Then we will take that sword. Goes to Astarian, except... I need to scroll that down a bit. And the arrow. To the character sheet. Replace this dagger with this sword. And now we have plus one short swords on both weapon slots. And then Shadow Heart. We're going to go through this little doorway. And once again try and heal the person back here of their paralysis without breaking down the front door in order to do so. Let's just send Shadowheart in alone for a second. Does Gale have jump? He does. All right, Gale, you're coming too. Hop down here, please. And then again on the other side. Don't look down. It's a big scary drop down there. So we were here like, what, two minutes ago? And we had figured out that we can't quite jump to this roof. And spamming... Oh, wait. There was a spot. There's a spot right there. I 
I swear I saw the line appear. Otherwise, I'm just going to cast Jump on her. That's probably the easier way. Gale, please cast. It's not even in your hotbar. We prepared it today, didn't we? I thought I was just... Oh. It's Andrew who has this spell. Hold on. Okay, Andrew, please cast Jump with a first level spell slot on Shadowheart. Thank you ever so much. Let's pull her away so everyone else doesn't try and immediately follow her. We'll hop up there. Hop down here. Uh, but I'm here to help. I mean, literally is one of the options. But insight is higher for us, so we're going to do that. Good thing we did. You note her grimace of pain. Something is wrong with her legs. Damn it! Don't... Don't look at me like that. You can stay. Just keep your hands to yourself, all right? Uh, I'm a cleric. Let me heal you. <laughs> no need. Should be able to stand soon enough. <sighs> Once this bloody potion wears off. What potion was this? From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. The Don't hag. It. it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear. And fearless. Of course she also warned of side effects. <sighs> Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. Even dead, the hag still brings people suffering. <laughs> Deadly serious. Still, the sooner this wears off, the better. Well, here's the thing. I have a second level Lesser Restoration prepared. My legs! I can stand again! Did you do that? I did. Thank you. Look, you're not really supposed to be here. But I'll turn a blind eye. Just don't touch anything, all right? Well, you are so welcome that we're now allowed into this place full of chests that we can't loot. And we healed your paralysis and we're just allowed in this generic space. Which seems a bit odd, but sure. And, oh quick... Jump back before we run out of spell. Well, that was a lot less interesting than I thought it was going to be, but we did a good thing, and we can feel happy about that, I suppose. We can't get to this giant flat cliff face. Uh, but while we actually have... Uh, jump spells there's one other thing we can do here in camp before we head off we just hop down here please don't hurt your legs too much let's pull these three together go back and liaise with a starion and then just around the corner there is a ledge that was too far for us to jump across on our previous adventure So I think we're just going to nip round, and before we leave, we'll see what we missed out on last time we were here, now that we have some spell slots to spare. What was that? Oh. I don't need whatever is on that goblin's corpse. 
At least I'm pretty sure I don't. If I do, I'm going to miss out on it. So we need to get around to here. And let the heroes path their own way there. Because if we swing round, it was two pillars. There's a chest over there, see? I want it. And now that we have super mega jump spell, we should be able to go and retrieve it. Just have to do it fairly quickly. Right, we'll do this in turn based mode just so that we don't accidentally end up stranded over the opposing side. Uh, can we action dash? Is that going to give us enough? No, we can't because we're in combat. Fine. Turn ends. Back to Shadowheart, please. Hop on over. So, three hops over, three hops back. Should be fine. A copper ring worth 30 gold. Definitely worth worth the price of entry, I'm sure. But, you know, now we know. Now I don't have to live with that mystery for the rest of time. Now let's hop back before this spell wears off. Oh wow, we can do it all in one. This is a good spell. Back safely. Let's get out of turn based mode. Join the rest of the party. And now I will jump cut back to camp where we will long rest. And then, after any resolutions from the long rest, we will be prepared to go out west next time to the goblin camp where we will try and resolve whatever we can there without a TPK. So I'll get to the teleporter outside, the rune circle, and we'll hop over to camp. Quiet, you Actually, this kid is back safe, so let's see if the parents have any reward for us. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. It's not much, but here. Know that if you call, we'll come running. No matter what. Well, Likewise. maybe when things are better. Arabella? Thank you for helping me. Dealing the idol. It's no horn though, is it? Oh, item received. Cherished locket. Uh, Shadowheart was doing the talking. Wearer of this item gains the Dancing Evocation... Dancing Lights Evocation cantrip. Uh, is anyone not wearing a necklace? You are. You are. You are. Alright, well, I guess Andrew's getting an extra necklace. Alright, back to the teleporter. And here we are at the ancient rune circle, so this means that we can press that handy go to camp and end the day button. And fingers crossed this time we will come out of our events. Oh, hello. My, my, what manner of place is this? A patch of ground to call home. 
Some rest for the wicked after all. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met. I am Raphael, very much at your service. Um. Hello, I'm Andrew. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. No, this encampment is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. What is happening? There, middle of somewhere. Um, can you be more specific, please? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on. Partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Um, what makes you say that? Call it a ninth sense. Oh, joy. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. I mean, I think drawing my weapon is probably the worst option here. What happens if we character select to somebody else right now? It doesn't let us. Um, why would you help me? Because my compassion is boundless. I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull? Two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Um, you think I'm going to make a deal with the devil? And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still. I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. And if we need to speak to you again, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet. Have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Welp. That was unexpected. Right, 
Let me destroy a water barrel and eat some food, and then we'll get to sleeping. Right after a quick conversation with Shadowheart, I guess. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Um, let's use wisdom and share her to see what her see what she's thinking. Anticipation. She is testing you somehow about Raphael. I'm not so sure. I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet, rather than the one on the table. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. I mean, I'm not inclined to trust a devil. What do, you, what do you think is best, Shadowheart? I'll tell you in due course. I just wanted to see how close we are in thinking, first of all. Oh, well. I guess I should just toss a coin. She is a trickster cleric, but she's a cleric nonetheless. Good, you got there eventually. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Well, I'm glad I made the right decision. Perhaps you didn't. Well, she's such a tease. See? Sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. What is happening, really? Alright. Food, water, sleep. Tonight's dinner. Cheese, bread, a heap of sausages. And some carnival squash. And we will drop this barrel. See if we can't attack it. And that constitutes our consumed water for the night. And now in a slightly soggy bed, let us rest. No more things going bump in the night, and so we'll end it there. And then next time, we will select our spells for the day ahead, knowing that we're heading out west to the goblin camp. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.